and there is a security guard that you need to keep an eye on. I'm not gonna show you my pin, guys. One, two. This ATM offers a conversion to your home currency. You always want to reject this. Guys, it's only one dirham, so I might as well buy some for everybody. Shukran Basif. Let us enjoy this traditional music performance. It's a fresh day here, guys, in the beautiful Wazazat. I'm rocking my new awesome hat which actually, in spite of the material it's made out of, which is perhaps a combination of both wool and cotton, it's not so warm. Anyway, moving on, it turns out that I've ran out of Durham, Moroccan Durham, so it's time to take a trip to an ATM. However, here in Morocco, like most countries, you should expect to pay a transaction fee or transaction charge when you are withdrawing money using a foreign bank card. Being someone who likes to save money and who does not like to spend money unnecessarily, I've done a little bit of research online and there is a slight chance that this bank which I'm stood in front of does not charge you. So that's what we are going to find out right now. The name of the bank is Okay. Shukran Basu, my friend. Thank yes, you. goodbye. Thank you. And Shufik Minbad. There you go. Uh, it's a very difficult name to say, but we're going to give it a go. Talao Flasek. Talao Flasek. Nice, friendly man, as always. This is Morocco after all. So, and there is a security guard that you need to keep an eye on. This is the security guard. Meow. Meow. I don't want any trouble, please. I just I just need to get some flush. Flush? It's a funny word, isn't it? But flush is how you say money in Darija, the main language here in Morocco. Anyway, I'm going to put in my card now. If it accepts it, which it doesn't seem to be Denied. doing. That is weird. That's not the best start, is it, guys? My, It's not accepting my card. That is very strange. It definitely accepts MasterCard. In the end, I was able to find my final five dirham coin right at the bottom of my backpack, which allowed me to take a bus to the city center. In fact, this journey cost four dirham in total, which is the equivalent of 31 pence in pounds or 39 cents in dollars. Okay guys, that was very anticlimactic, I will admit. For some reason, the ATM wouldn't accept my card. And then actually, it wasn't a problem with my card either because a local Moroccan guy came over and he tried to insert his card and it rejected it. So I'm here at another bank. Ati, Ati Jawafa. We're gonna try again. Fingers crossed we have more success. Hey, and it's gone. And Shufik Min Bad. Okay, here we go. What's happened? Oh, okay. Wow, look at all these languages, guys. French, Italian. Here in Morocco, the population is made up of two ethnic groups. The first group, which is the greatest in size, is the Berber majority. And the second group is the Arabic subpopulation. These fascinating characters that you can see on the ATM screen are just a few of the 28 characters that form the Berber alphabet. This is actually Berber language, Arabic, English, Spanish, and Russian. I'm feeling adventurous. Let's do, I'm going to do English. I don't want to accidentally withdraw too much. I'm not going to show you my pin, guys. One, two, three, four. Oh my God. Did I just say that out loud? There you go. You're, you're welcome to the little money I have in my bank account. Okay, withdrawal. Let's do universal. I don't know what that means, but we'll try. Right, let's do this much. The moment of truth, whether it will charge me or not. Right, guys, whenever you're on this page, it's, it's asking you whether you want the money to be converted. This ATM offers a conversion to your home currency. You always want to reject this. So you, you want to press, in this instance, proceed without conversion. And the reason for this, the operation will charge you 35 Durham. What? I thought this bank didn't charge. Okay, how much is 35 dirham? Oh no, guys, that's kind of frustrating. But actually, I don't think it's so much. 
let me double check i'm going on my currency converter app and we'll get to the bottom of this so to withdraw 2000 durham it's asking me to pay a charge of 35 durham 35 durham no 35 durham is two pound 78 or three three dollars 50 yeah it's fine validate go on then and fingers crossed inshallah all right got my card hopefully i get some money now billets okay we got the money okay and just like that alhamdulillah i have the flush I'm not sure if you was able to see them. There was actually two people, one man and one woman, sitting to the left-hand side of the ATM a minute ago, asking for money. And I've said that I'm going to treat them to an ice cream each because, guys, it is roasting outside. They are sitting there all day. I know it's not much, but it's something, and hopefully they appreciate it. Here we go, guys. The gentleman has opened the ice cream tray i'm going to pretend to run off with them okay and <laughs> shofik min bad he didn't even react he knows he can trust me sadike afak shahel afak Okay guys, it's time to go and give my friends the ice lollies. Pissaha, pissaha. 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 Pissaha, pissaha. Bismillah. Ah, bismillah, Ibrahim. Yes, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No problem. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, my friend. Sadike, my friend. Sadike. Okay. And Shufik min bad. Bye bye. What? Oh, that was awesome, guys. They were so appreciative. What a tricky word for me to say. Just like my new friend told me in my previous video, Osama. I can't remember the exact word right now. And for those who are wondering, the word is. Rasak. But he told me the word which effectively means like being lucky or receiving good fortune. And I think this word is applicable to this present moment because I've just randomly come across this public concert and they have some really awesome traditional music happening. Not only music but also a dance performance. It's really, really good. Look, there's a massive crowd gathered. Everybody's enjoying it. The sun is going down. What more do you want? Maybe some popcorn and then it's going to be perfect. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kiriya labas. Popcorn? Moroccan popcorn. Shahel afak. Flus. Can I try a little? Bismillah. Shukran Bissef. Bismillah Ibrahim. Okay. Okay. Oh. 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 Alhamdulillah. Khoya. Afak. Wom. Inshallah. So I don't know why the popcorn is such a colorful color. You've got green, you've got pink, you've got orange popcorn. Shukran Bissef. Sadike. I'm not entirely sure how much it is though. Okay guys, it's the moment of truth. How many flus? How many? One! No! You want popcorn? Makla, makla, makla. Yes? Okay. Three. All. Sadike, Sadike, I buy popcorn for you, no problem. Take, take. Take, take, take. One for you. Tick, tick, tick. Bissaha, bissaha. Oh, we get that. Oh, no. They bought chickpeas, but it's leaking. Oh, no. Astaghfirullah. 
okay? And then what, what for me, Sadike? <laughs> Guys, it's only one Durham, so I, I might as well buy some for everybody. Shukran Basir. Leila Saida. Guys, that's crazy. Popcorn is one Durham. I have to take off my hat, figuratively speaking at least, to the young man who served me. He could have told me that the price is five Durham and I would have believed him, but he, he gave me the fair price of one Durham, which I, for me, I think it's too cheap. Tonight is potentially my last evening here in Wazazat. And a little habit that I like to practice is that in every new city that I visit, city, town, sometimes even village, I try and do at least one 10 kilometer run. And guess what? I haven't done one yet. So that means tonight is probably going to be my last opportunity to do so because when I wake up in the morning, probably post nine o'clock, it's going to be too hot. But the problem is my current location is actually three kilometers away from my hostel. And if I'm honest, if I'm frank with you, I don't fancy walking three kilometers. It's only going to lead to me being more tired and ultimately less motivated to do my 10 kilometer run. So, can you guess what I'm thinking? I'm thinking let's try hitchhiking. I think it should be easy enough. People are extremely friendly here. So I'm just going to wait on the side of the road. If someone's zooming past on a motorbike, I'm going to stick up my thumb and hope they stop. Let's see if it works. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. Before we get to the hitchhiking segment of the video, let us enjoy this traditional music performance. <laughs> Right guys, keep your eyes peeled for any motorbikes or even a car, you know, I'm not discriminating. As you can see guys, it's not going well. I'm still walking. I've probably walked one kilometer now. So I'm only two kilometers from, no! 
miss my chance, I have to focus. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kidiya Allah bas, sadiqay. Can I go a little bit? So yeah, so yeah, okay. Shukran busa. Bismillah. Thank you, bro. <laughs> We've done it. Shukran busa, my friend. Alhamdulillah, thank you. <laughs> And just like that, guys, I'm almost home. I can see my hostel. Ah, I've actually got a tear in my eye. That's how beautiful that moment was. Or maybe it's the fact that the wind was blowing directly in my face. I'm going to say a combination of the two. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to press the like button. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you in the next video. Salaamu